Hey tubes. Uh, here's what we're gonna do today. I got we got all our blo blocks all welded together, and here's one of the heads I'm putting on. This one here stays okay. This one here's a uh, see the little triangle shape of it. This one stays uh, stock, but these other three I have to cut down. Let's see just how much. I'll put these on here. You don't realize how much we cut this engine until you, you see the, the heads on there. You see it hanging off there? We actually uh, we cut all this off here, so that's about an inch. So we cut off we cut off three inches all together. It doesn't it doesn't uh, show that on the head, but the the engines themselves there, they're actually overall three inches closer. So uh, what I'm gonna have to do is take his head and and just cut off this this thing here on three of these so let me uh, shape them up and uh, we'll put them on and see what they look like alright we got three of them done they're looking pretty good here's one here you see it got nice space I don't know if you can see that nice space in between them all but uh, here's one that's completely done let me check this out you see, even on the sides, you see the fins there? Round the fins off to make it look like something that would come out of the factory. Here's one without the fins cut off. You see how square? Don't look very good. Then you round the fins off. That looks pretty cool. But uh, here's something Mike suggested, and I like it. Here's, here's an original head, and here's what we're doing. Mike suggested uh, to cut this tab off because you really don't need it. Round it off and shape it to the fin or shape it to the cylinder. And it actually makes it clean, cleans it up real nice. So that was, that was a good suggestion. Alright, we've got one more left to do here. It's funny, they don't look, they don't look different until you put them, put them side by side and you see how much uh, we did cut them up. You know, you gotta pay attention to detail. You know, you just don't want to hack them up. All right, let me finish this last one. All right, got them all done. They uh, came out looking good too. I'm very happy with them. See the way they uh, conform to the cylinder heads now. They look pretty good. All right, I guess I'll uh, clean them two dirty ones up. They just got paint on them. Not really dirty. Let's throw them in a the blaster and uh, make them pretty. Then we can get down to this. And nail all these together and uh, put the port in there. Somebody asked uh, how we're going to connect the to make them all one one sump. I'm just going to uh, drill through uh, through here on the bottom and through here and through here, and that way they all connect. And uh, you can film with one end and it will go all the way through. All right, Mike should be back tomorrow. This today's Friday, so uh, he should be back tomorrow. He'll probably work on a crank or the, the cam or the distributor. I don't know, but uh, we're getting a lot done. We're one step closer to starting it now with them heads. All righty, we'll see you later. All right, before I uh, glue all these together and everything, what I wanted to do was. Uh, Put a little hole in the side. See where I got the little mark there? I want to put like a 5 8 hole through uh, through all of them there. Just to connect them all up. Sorry about the camera, but I'm doing two things at once here. So I got to uh, see where I have the little, little zero marks there. That's actually a hole. But uh, that was just to tell me where, which ones get the holes. Now I gotta measure out and put the put the hose. They they, they don't have to be exact, but they gotta be pretty close. So uh, let me lay them out. I'm gonna I got a five eighths drill here. I think I'm only gonna make the whole five eighths. That should be plenty, plenty for for uh, for the oil to flow through. So uh, let me lay them out and then we'll drill them. Uh, I got everything marked out here, so. Uh, Let's start with a pilot hole. I'm going to drill four holes because I want to make them bigger and bigger. Each one will make them bigger. 
but I, I don't want to go through the floor of the thing there. I, I want it to make like a little indent, that's all. So let's, uh, let's see what happens. I keep my belts uh, loose so if something grabs like that it doesn't go whipping around right, let me get that off of there alright I've got you guys clamped in now but uh, that's why I keep my belts loose you know because if, if it grabs like that these are cobalt bits and they're pretty sharp and and they tend to grab a lot so Let's see what this one does Put a final bit in there. All right, this is five eighths. This is the size I, I want to hold the base. So uh, let's see. So I wanted that to go right to the, the very bottom, and that's exactly where it's at, right to the bottom of my sump there. Okay, all right, I got four more of these to drill. Well, that worked out nice. All right, I got five more of these to do, so let me do them, and uh, then we'll show you what they look like. All right, I got them all drilled there. I'm happy. The seven eight hole should be plenty big. They line up. Uh, Actually, pretty good. So, uh, I guess I'll throw these on top of the, the blocks there and uh, we'll clamp them in and uh, start gluing them together. All right. All right. I uh, put some wax paper on top of my blocks there so uh, when I put the, the sumps on, I, I, don't, I don't glue them to that because uh, once, uh, once I mix this stuff, I'm using a PC7 here, two-part mix. I've been using this stuff for about 40 years now, and it's good stuff. A couple guys asked why I don't weld them, aluminum weld them. Uh, well, this stuff is probably 100 times stronger. Anybody in the, the body business, in the auto body business, they'll tell you right now, most, most of your cars are epoxied together. They don't even use screws no more. So this, once, once this is together, this ain't coming apart. But uh, like I say, here's the stuff I use, PC7. I've been using it for about 40 years now. Matter of fact, I even found this, this old can here. This, this is actually painted on there. This, all their advertisements and stuff, it's painted on. The newer cans is just a sticker wrapped around there. Plus, I got a www dot address on there now and, and everything else. The stuff, it actually has a pretty good shelf. Like, I, I'm telling you, this is 30 or 40 years old and it's, and it's still good. I got uh, I got cans of this stuff all over the place. So if you're watching their uh, PC uh, epoxy company, we use a lot of you. Feel free to send me a, a few cases for the next project. Only kidding. All right, so uh, it's a 50 fiction 50 mix here. You got to make sure it's uh, mixed right. If it ain't mixed right, you're not going to get a good bond. So uh, let me mix this all up and and then start slapping this together. Alright, I got these all bonded together. 
on the top there I actually stuck a piece of metal in there and then bonded over that but uh, they're bonded in between 100% so uh, I, got, I got pretty pretty good faith in this stuff I'm, I'm sure ain't nothing gonna happen to it I mean this, this is what holds the space shuttle together and when I was young I used to work on a shipyard and we used to build ships with uh, battleships and aircraft carriers with this stuff so plus made in the good old uh, USA let's see there we go oh. crazy camera alright alright I'm going to bring this in the house and let it uh, set up overnight then I can take them apart and start shaping them and uh, form them into what I want alrighty we'll see you then alright it's been about 24 hours since I did this and I had it sitting in the, the heater room so it's pretty well cured it's cured as, as much as it's going to cure so uh, let me unbolt these turn them upside down and we'll take them off and see how they came out alright we're all unbolted here cocks is all nice and hard here so alright let's uh, let's try and pop it off without breaking anything huh There we go, sounds good. There we go. That's it. Oh. So then we put that epoxy or that uh, wax paper down, huh? Look at that. So, well, it would have been there. Uh, I would have glued them to the to the engine, to the block. It wouldn't have been any good. Yeah, that's good. They feel solid. I don't know if you can see in here. Let me get you off that uh, tripod there. Okay. Yeah, that's good. We got the epoxy in, in through all everything. That's good. Better than I expected. See now I can, I can clean this all up and uh, start shaping it. And the holes look good too. All I have to do is clean out the, the epoxy there, and it should be fine. Make sure they they're sealed completely though. Okay. Sorry for all these these boring videos lately, but uh, that's just the process we're going through here. Once we get past this, it should get pretty uh, pretty entertaining. All right. I don't know how long this video will be, so uh, we'll see you in the next one.